I think for me, it was more about um, sort of being in the design field for maybe about uh, six or seven years now. Um, you know, from the time of going doing like my undergraduate work uh, to now, I sort of felt that motion graphics felt very new and exciting to me. Uh, I sort of had kind of run the gamut in print and I was actually looking to sort of feel that energy once again that I did when I first started doing print. Uh, and I thought motion graphics was sort of kind of like a natural step. I've always enjoyed films and sort of like storytelling and things that sort of move in sequence or have some sort of animation in the print work to them. And I thought motion graphics was sort of a natural next step and sort of taking that same idea, but now having things that do animate. Um, and also I think the experimentation for me with motion graphics uh, just allows me to think about things in totally different ways. Ideas, uh, sort of concepts are very, very different when you think of motion. For me, my experience was a little bit different because I sort of spent a little bit longer time here and so I kind of created my own path. Uh, and that was beneficial to me in terms of working with the larger body of artists that are here at the school. Uh, I did take a lot of classes in film, theater, uh, that allowed me to work collaboratively with other artists. The interaction between uh, both of the undergraduate and graduate majors is, uh, is very close, actually. Uh, a lot of the upper division classes offered in graphic design do mix uh, juniors and seniors within the undergraduate uh, degree, as well as the MFA. So, there is a lot of interaction between those classes in terms of discussion, working on projects together. We also do have a lot of big projects that happen throughout the school, um, such as the end of the year shows, the motion show, uh, print fairs, uh, t-shirt expo, where all the students also work together in these sort of longer term projects to sort of bring a benefit to the community of CalArts and outside of the school. The students also in the graduate program TA uh, undergraduate courses, so there is a lot of going back and forth um, in terms of teaching, uh, in terms of the undergraduate students learning from the graduate students in that sense. Um, so there is a really close connection. Also, our uh, studios are right next to one another, so we do interact with them every day, and that's something that's very nice. The undergraduate class is very fascinating class. They are probably one of the, the smartest students that I've encountered within the program. Uh, all of them are very eager to learn, very um, adaptable to new ideas and concepts. Uh, I think they're here much longer than the graduate students in terms of time that this, they spend each day at their studio. Uh, so they're very dedicated. They work uh, very closely together as, as a class um, and I feel that they do offer a lot, a lot, the program a lot of very um, interesting concepts and ideas they, they do bring sort of forward that sometimes graduate students are not thinking about.